Hello, Ricardo. Good evening. Don't turn off your camera. Come on, don't go away. <laughs> no. It was an accident. <laughs> Come on. How are you? With me? How are you tonight? Ah, tonight I, I'm happy. <laughs> I'm happy, very happy. And you? Oh, I'm doing great, actually. I'm just concerned, you know, worried. Okay. Um, worried because, give me one second. We are too few. We're just too few right now in the classroom and that's concerning. Mm -hmm. But I'm doing great other than that, you know, a lot of things to do at home. And mm -hmm. As an American will say, same old, same old, same old, same old. Same old. Same old, same old. Did you, have you heard that? Every people say same old, same old. <laughs> what do you understand by that? Same old, same old. Lo mismo de todo. Lo mismo de todos los días, right? It's like, I mean, a cosa todos los días. And it's not, it's not bad. It's something, you know, instead of saying, uh, sort of, um, more or less, because the Salvadorians, right, when they ask you, ¿Cómo estás? You say, oh, man, pasando, right? So, no, instead of that, you can say, same old, same old, same old, same old. Okay. It's, it's common, that expression. It's a very common expression, yes. Okay. okay. How many classmates are in in this Zoom meeting? In this Zoom meeting, we're supposed to be ta, 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 ta. just me. <laughs> well, we are about twenty five on the on the chat, you know, on the WhatsApp group. But I don't know what's going on with everyone. I refer to connecting in this moment. Yep. Yeah. So, tell me, what did you do today? Same old, same old. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. Not really. What? No. Uh, in the morning, I, I woke up early. Mm, late. No, sorry. Sorry. Late. I, I drive to... I drive to the airport. airport. Uh, I I couldn't use my transportation because I woke up very late. very late. Do yeah. you work at the airport? Yeah, yeah, at the airport I work at. What do you do? Uh, well, I uh, the passenger pay pay the the taxes. I. Um, I do uh, more uh, like a cashier, like a cashier. Oh, really? Is it a ticket counter? Uh, not, not uh, airline, not. Not, not for the work. airlines, but for no. the airport. Uh, I work for SEPA. So you work I, for SEPA. The administration of the airport. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, of the whole airport, my mother, yes. my, my mother works at the Louis Armstrong Airport in Louisiana. Oh yeah, yeah. She has been working there for fourteen years, I think, or something like that. Yeah, a long time. It <laughs> was uh, it was uh, uh, the Katrina affected the airport in Louisiana. She was during Katrina. Um, on the seventh floor of a building, and building. she was she was catch she was caught on the seventh floor of of the building during Katrina. It was terrible. 
she, oh. yeah, and, and, and that was in 2004. 2004, yeah. 2004. Yeah. It was yeah. very, it, it was a disaster. A disaster. It was a disaster. Disaster. Very difficult okay. situation. But thank like, God. Like in, sorry, like in Honduras? Like Honduras? Not as Honduras. Honduras was even worse. You know, but Katrina, what happened with Katrina was that the river, Mississippi River, yeah, 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 overflowed yeah, yeah. it. It, it overflowed, <laughs> you know, so it was flooded. So all the surrounding area was covered in water due to the river floating. It was, it was crazy. It was a, it was actually. After the bridge or before the bridge? Before the bridge. I mean, the whole, the whole line next to the river, oh, yeah. you know, the there, there was a, some sort of border that the government was supposed to fix and they didn't fix it in a long time. So it yeah. over, yeah. overflowed it. That's right. Yes. Okay, Carmen Irene, good evening, Carlos. Good night, teacher. Good evening. Good oh evening, my... teacher. Hi, Carmen. I, Hi, I, teacher. Have I ever seen your face? I can't remember. Hello? Okay, uh, Carmen, I'm sorry. Uh, I have never seen you, I, I guess, in person. Oh, teacher, que estoy enferma. <laughs> I mean, but yeah, but you, oh, no, right now you're sick, but <laughs> I can't remember you, you know. It's okay, it's okay. Just keep that in mind for next class. I want to see your faces, guys. I want to meet okay, you. Teacher. Don't worry. So let's start uh, yesterday. Where were we? Uh, we saw... The topic was uh, the present condition. future. Sorry. Sorry. Answer, Car. Answer, Carmen. Okay. What What was the topic yesterday? That's what I was waiting to hear. <laughs> with who? With me or with Carmen? Both. I mean, whoever wants to answer, go ahead, guys. Okay. Uh, I remember uh, we study about if conditional. Yes. What conditional? Zero, one, two, or three? Um, did you mention uh, for for conditioning? But I, uh, exactly, I mentioned four conditionals, but the one that we are studying the mainly in this case is the first. The first conditional, okay, which is what's it, what is it? Present versus simple present. Uh, simple present yeah. versus future. Oh yeah. Okay, mm -hmm. so today, my, hoy vamos a abarcar esto de una manera bien sencilla. Quiero que lo que, que lo dejemos claro. Decíamos. Que la estructura de esto, vamos a empezar por lo más fácil, la estructura. Ok. Eh, tengo el condicional if y luego help me. Subject. Ajá. Uh -huh. Plus verb. Excelente. Uh -huh. Plus complement. Complement. That's it. Ok. Now, this right here, uh, esto que está acá sería la condicionante. Condition. Ese es el condicional. Ok. Oh, me gusta llamarle condicionante porque se da a entender más que si esto se cumple, si esta condición se cumple, y por ser el primer condicional, hablaríamos de un futuro. ¿Cómo diría entonces? ¿Cómo le llamaría a la siguiente oración? Consequence. The consequence, that's right. Okay. Um, o el resultado. Okay. So, si esta condicionante se cumple, este será el resultado. Okay. O sería el resultado. 
Ok. So, ¿cuál sería la estructura para el resultado? It's on your screen, right? Mm. You can see the screen, okay. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so you have this. So the the result, the consequence, will be the subject plus plus more uh, more plus verb mm -hmm. verb plus complement. Simple. <laughs> okay. Entonces sería present simple versus a modal clause. ¿Por qué le pongo mod modal y no le pongo futuro a esto como lo, como lo manda la gramática? Porque no solo ocupas will, a pesar de que will gramaticalmente es un modal también. ¿Ok? Es un verbo modal. ¿Por qué? Pues... Es su propio auxiliar. A él lo vas a ocupar en negativas y en preguntas e incluso en las positivas. ¿no? Ok. So, ¿Cómo funciona esto? ¿Y para qué me sirve este condicionante? Pues para hablar de que si algo ocurre actualmente, okay, va, a va, va a afectar, puede afectar, podría afectar el futuro. Ok. Um, aparte de if, chicos, el condicional, en cualquier condicionante, en lugar de if, puedo ocupar también. ¿Alguien no se lo puede? ¿Alguien sabe? May. Mm, May. When. When. Sí. When. En lugar de if, puedo ocupar when. Así, tal cual, en lugar de if. Podría decir, when you get a high paying job, You won't have to work as hard. Está diciendo cuando obtengas un trabajo altamente pagado o bien pagado, no tendrás que trabajar tan duro. El primer ejemplo que tenemos en el cuadrito, ¿ok? Por ende, este cuadrito me gusta porque sigue como con conclusiones um, haciendo alusión al primer ejemplo. Um, por ende, si tú no trabajas tan duro, tendrás mucho más tiempo. Tendrás mucho más tiempo. Luego, ¿qué dice en la siguiente, Marlon? If you have a lot of, a lot more free time, you might get bored. Uh, if you get bored, you may have to look for another... <laughs> okay, translate. If you have a lot of, a lot more free time, Uh -huh, uh -huh. You might get bored. Si tienes un montón de más tiempo libre uh -huh. eh, o tiempo libre de sobra. Tiempo creo, libre de sobra, creo que sería uh -huh, más adecuado. Tiempo uh -huh. libre de sobra. Eh, tú might, te aburrirás. Te aburri Podrías aburrirte. Podrías aburrirte. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Perfect. Okay. If you get bored, you might have to look for another job. Okay, Juan. If you get bored, if you get bored, you may have to look for another job. Translate. Um, tú podría buscar otro trabajo. Okay, textual, Juan. If you get bored, si tú no fueras tan aburrido, quizá. No, si tú es presente simple, Juan. You get boring. Uh -huh. si, tú, uh, si tú fueras aburrido. Ok, si tú te aburres. Si, if you get uh, bored. Uh -huh, if you get bored, si te aburres, you might have to look for another job. Puedes buscar otro trabajo. Ahí sí. Es la probabilidad, Juan. Puede que... 
que debas, que debas buscar otro trabajo. You might have to look for another job. Ok. Questions. Preguntas, chicos. May, we... podrías, en May, deberías, o cómo. Gracias, muchas, muchas gracias. Marlon, eh, a ver, May. Piensen que eso significa puede que. Might, podría. Podría que. Um, yo, a mí me gusta decir que might está fuera de tu control. Situaciones fuera de tu control. O más poderosas que tú. It might rain. ¿Oí? No puedo decir it may rain. Porque may sí está dentro de tu control. Okay. It, you may... You may dance with her. Okay. If you want, mm -hmm. if you want, you may dance with her. Si tú quieres, puede que bailes con ella. If you want, you may dance with her. ¿Estará dentro de mi control el querer o no querer bailar con ella? Sure. Right. But if you say, and if you, well, an, an may, advice. May is similar to Ken. May es muy similar a Ken. Correcto. Dentro de las posibilidades. Dentro Posible. de las posibilidades, porque si digo I can dance y I may dance, ¿qué estaría diciendo? Juan. Lo mismo. Mm -mm. Tú lo acabas Ken de decir. Puede, pen, ¿Quién es puede? Puedo. ¿Quién es puedo? Poder. Tener la capacidad de algo. I can dance. Okay. I may dance. I may dance tomorrow. Puede que. Mm. Mm -hmm. yeah. Puede I que. Might I, I might get sick. I might get sick. Sí. Correct. If you go okay. out, if you go out under the rain, if you go out under the rain, you may, you might get sick. I might get sick. Okay. If you, if you breathe. If you breathe this air with all the dust, you might get sick. Okay, good. Questions? Teacher, you live in the past with the simple past. What is the que cambia? Solo word or did? No hemos visto eso. Uh, eso quería preguntar. Not no yet. Sé. Aún no. Ahora, si ves la importancia de ubicarte, fíjense que yo tengo la maña y me critican a veces por, por hacer esto. La primera y la segunda clase, al ver un nuevo tema gramatical, me encanta ponerlos en el contexto en su lenguaje y ponerlos a traducir y ponerles ejercicio de traducción. ¿Por qué? Porque como adultos no solemos ubicarnos en el tiempo. ¿Sí? Y yo te puedo decir que quiere decir if you get high pain, a high paying job. Um, si tú, y me empiezan a decir obtuvieses, si obtuviste, si obtuvieras, y es presente. Si obtienes, presente, ¿ok? Siempre va a ocurrir eso. Entonces es bueno que te ubiques en el tiempo. Ojo con eso, ¿eh? Good. Okay. Y no moverte hasta, hasta que ya, ya lo tenés. Ok. So. Lot more free vamos a hacer un ejercicio juntos. Los voy a dividir en grupos y van a retarse entre sí. ¿Qué van a hacer? Pues van a ponerse casos entre ustedes. Ok. So, for example. Um, you can say, you can tell to one of your classmates. Okay, if you get COVID-19. Entonces vendrá alguien más. Okay. Or you can actually name the person. Let's say, Ricardo, if you get COVID-19. I might die. Mm -hmm. 
Mm, you might die. You might get a fever. Okay, you might get a fever. You may go to the hospital. You may go to the hospital. Okay. You will be I knew I was misspelling this word and it doesn't recognize it. You will be uh, in clustered. <laughs> no, it's not taking it. I don't know why. I can't remember the spelling of that word. Uh, you will be left alone. Isled. 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 I Isled, yes. You will be left alone. Serás dejado solo, sea. By yourself. You will be left by yourself. Wow. Very hard. Okay. So that's your duty right now. You set the conditional. If she goes out with him, Uh, let me think about someone. If you, if she goes out with him, Carlos. Carlos, Kike. Okay, Carlos, if she goes out with him. Goes. Um, Si, si ellas obtuvieron ¿cómo? no por ejemplo anybody if she goes out with him si sale con él she should take a bath I broke my relation <laughs> ok I'll recuerden que aquí va El futuro, la, el modal. I'll break up with her. I'll break up with her. Okay. If she goes out with him, I'll break up with him. Okay. Si se entiende lo que van a hacer. Necesito que ustedes reten a un compañero y le digan, hey, Rebecca, um, if you turn on the TV, Finish the sentence. You might not be born. You might not be born. Be born. Mm -hmm. You may not be born. Perfect. You may not be born. Excellent. So you got the idea? Let's practice this. Y por favor, let's talk. Talk. Okay, participate on the activity so you can, you, you don't get bored. Okay, let me break up the rooms and trios. Okay, let's go in trios. If you leave me now and take away the very heart of me, ooh, now, baby, please don't go. And if you leave me now, come on, guys. Go ahead, go ahead, teacher. Keep going, keep going. I like your, your song. Oh, my God, thank you. Come on, <laughs> try it. That's the point. 
I'm going to tell you, for example, uh, Carmen, if you leave me now. If you leave? If you leave me now. Um, you will be now. happy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good one. <laughs> if you leave me now, you will be happy. Perfect. Okay. If you leave me now, you will make someone else happy <laughs> or unhappy. Good. Okay, continue. Come on. Give the conditional to someone else. Come on, guys. Okay, Kike, if, if you eat hamburger now, Mm -hmm. uh, I let me see. Did you eat hamburger now? I will. You will be happy. <laughs> you will be happy. Ok, traten de usar el mismo sujeto que ocupa la condicionante. If you eat a hamburger right now, if you eat a hamburger right now, you will be, I, yeah, you will be happy. You will be happy. Oh. Hmm? Ok. Ok, keep going, guys. More examples, more examples. Excellent job. Thank you, Carmen. If I turn on your phone, microphone. Mm -hmm. Yes, Alberino, uh, if you study hard. Hard. Yeah, answer. Answer, okay. everybody. What is the question? If you study hard, Bruno, si yo estudio, para que me está costando entender las palabras. Sí, yeah, si, si tú estudias eh, fuerte, ¿Cuál es la otra? mucho, si tú estudias mucho, hay uh -huh. Subject, model, plus verb, plus complement. El complemento después de eso sería como si tú estudias mucho. Le, yeah. Luego viene una oración en futuro o tu modal. Será tu, bueno, en español entendería que tú serías un profesional, por ejemplo. Si tú estudias mucho, serías un profesional. So, yeah. ¿cuál, ¿cuál modal estoy ocupando ahí, eh, Carlos? Serías. Sería. Eso es lo que no me, me está costando, teacher. ¿Cómo? Mm, perfecto, no hay problema. Recuerda que would es el que le da la probabilidad al verbo. O lo, cuando hablas de un futuro incierto, ¿verdad? Okay. Would le agrega ese iría al verbo. Sería, se está diciendo, ¿ya? Would ría, ok. Uh -huh. Me decíamos, puede que, might, podría, ok. Y uh -huh. will, ojo, will agrega ese de, no puedo poner tilde en esa computadora, ese de al verbo. You will be a professional, serás. Ah, oh, perdón. Gre, ras, demos, oí como tú conjugues el, el futuro, ¿no? Demos, so, serás, seremos, seré. Ok, futuro. You will be a professional, serás un profesional. You may be a professional, puede que seas un profesional. You might be a professional. Podrías, podría. podría. Podría ser un profesional. Uh, you would be a professional. Serías un profesional. Sí. 
una consulta. Sí. Ahí no se puede utilizar el could, ¿verdad? Could. You could, could be, ¿eh? you could be, sí, también. You could be, podrías, también. pero también significa poder. Ajá. Podrías. Ajá, Germán. Y el can lo podemos usar también acá. No, porque no. esto es, es, estás hablando de un futuro. Estás hablando de la probabilidad en el futuro. ¿Mm? ¿Cómo el, la oración en presente que te está dando Ricardo va a afectar en el futuro? Un futuro cercano, un futuro incierto. ¿Ya? Ok. Next example. If you leave me now. You make you. No, sorry. Sorry, yeah, example, yeah, go ahead. You know the lyrics. You, example, you example, will take the very heart of me. Okay. <laughs> You'll take away okay. the biggest part of me. You'll take away the biggest part of me. If you leave me now. Mm -hmm. Take away. <laughs> you take away the part of me. The biggest part of me, my heart. Yeah. If you no. leave me now. The Bee Gees. Come on, guys. Okay. Yeah, Ooh, okay. No, baby, please don't go. Okay. Come on. Uh, my example, my example. Uh, pardon. Uh, if it uh, if it's cold today. Oh, if it's cold today. Who? German or Carlos? Uh, uh, German. Mm -hmm. If you if, if um, cold today, mm -hmm. uh, you you uh, you may. Uh, Wear a, a, a sweater. You might wear a sir. You might wear a, sir, a sweater. <laughs> Podrías usar un sweater. Yeah, that will work. Okay, keep going. Keep going. Okay. Sure. Tell me. Yo estoy tratando de entenderlo, entonces estoy tratando de ser como una oración. Por ejemplo, if you get more cycle. Uh, you have you have to drill with ok um, siguiendo la estructura or... siguiendo la estructura Carlos no dirías you have to es que eso es lo que me confunde sino que porque... pensá en un futuro ¿cómo va a afectar esa acción de comprar una bicicleta o una motocicleta en el futuro? if you buy a motorcycle you will need a helmet vas a neces necesitarás un casco. Right? Aunque yo lo estaba como, como, como un, dando como un consejo, va. tienes que manejar con precaución o con cuidado. Ah, entonces, pero ya estaría dando una recomendación. You should, you should buy, you should drive carefully. You should drive carefully. Debes, man, debes manejar um, con cuidado. Pero no estamos en esa parte aún. So, vamos, futuro. Will, ahí lo tenés en el chat. Would, may, might, will. Will, may, might, will. Pero, Entonces, yo cómo podría usar, podría utilizar el, el may. Right. You may. You may. Va, pero ahorita tú te vas a preocupar por la primera parte, la condicionante que va en presente simple. Como ya lo decías, if you buy a motorcycle, German. Mi abuela decía eso todo el tiempo. Si compras una bicicleta, una motocicleta, la muerte es segura. Uh -huh. Sí, te vas a ir a te, 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 te matarás. Si compras una motocicleta, te matarás. You will. Or you may fail. You may fail. You may, you may die. You might die. You okay. might have an accident. You will it's have an accident. Extremely. But, but uh, let's use the structure. Let's use the structure. Present, future. Okay? Okay, okay. Okay, teacher. Good.
keep going, keep going. I, I'm missing one more team to visit. Okay. And in Renaissance Control, for example, if you like a girl, you may to dance. No, 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 no. With, not two, yeah. not two. Forget you about. may dance. You may dance with her if you are in a party, right? You <laughs> If you leave me now, mm -hmm. you'll so. take away the biggest part of me. Everybody. Ooh. Ooh baby, please <laughs> don't go. And if you leave me now, you'll take away the very heart of me. Yeah. La verdad, con, con Ewen Stephanie nos, nos decía con in the beach or on the beach. At the beach? At the beach. <laughs> sí, no, it's just that at, at, quiero que entiendas at como en. That's it. Okay, mm -hmm. sí, porque Stephanie nos decía, what if you are at the, in, at the beach right now? If what if you were at the beach Ah, right teníamos now? esa otra duda también. Si ahorita <laughs> las preguntas las teníamos que hacer con el presente o con el pasado. Porque what if oh. you were at the beach? Uh -huh. Hmm. Porque ese es en pasado, prácticamente, uh, ¿no? Ya, yeah. la primera, Ajá. la primera, ok, la condicional va con presente simple. Y el resultado va en futuro. O probabilidad, acordate. Ahorita mira el chat de Zoom, que le explicaba el grupo anterior. Would, ¿cómo afecta el verbo? Ría, ¿verdad? Ría. May, puede que. Might, podría. Okay. Will lo convierte en el futuro. De, ras, haremos. Cantaré, uh -huh. Correrás, correremos. Right. So, apegate esa estructura ahorita. Good. Um, that's a clear example. If you leave me now, you will take away the biggest part of me. The whole song. Yeah, the whole song uses this. Uh, first conditional, if you leave me now, you'll take away. It's, it's repeating the same thing, but it's always first conditional. That's a great example. Um, okay, keep going. You're, okay. you're supposed to give the conditionant to your classmate. I like this group. This is a great group. Come on. Okay, what if there's an airport right now? Don't say I what? Can... Don't say what? You say, if there's an earthquake, mm -hmm. if cool. there's an uh, Giovanni, if Giovanni. there's an earthquake, uh, what did you do? No, 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 just tell <laughs> no. him the sentence. Giovanni, okay. if there's an earthquake. I, I can understand, no, 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 no entendí esa, esa, esa oración. Este es el punto, si hay un terremoto. I, I don't will run away. I won't run. I won't run. No correré. I just. I will. I'll just stop. good. I'll just. I'll just. Uh, walk. I'll just walk. walk. Perfect. Good job. Okay. Keep going, Giovanni. Your turn. Okay. Um. Cool. Me me acabo de conectar. La gran todavía soy un poco perdido en 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 la temática. Present. Pero alguna situación, Joan. Una situación en el presente que va a afectar en el futuro. What, um, Stephanie, what if you get married? If you get married. Si estuviera casada, ¿o cómo? Ojo, esto es presente y ese es el punto, chicos. Que nos ubiquemos en nuestro tema, en nuestro idioma. Si te casas, if you get married. Mm -hmm. What you... ¿Cuál será el resultado? Feel? ¿Cuál será? ¿Cuál sería? ¿Cuál podría ser? ¿Cuál puede ser? Ok. I would have two children. Perfect. You got it. You go. So, if you get married, you will get... You will have two children. You, I will get two children. Options. Ok. Stephanie. Um, quiero ver... Tiene que ser algo que pueda pasar, ¿verdad? 
Ah, tú te vas a enfocar, todos se van a enfocar, si ya lo notaron, en el presente simple. Porque esa es la condicionante. Si esto ocurre ahorita en el presente, va a afectar en el futuro, puede afectar en el futuro, podría afectar el futuro, o afectaría el futuro. Ok, no sé si estará bien, pero if there is a COVID-19. Uh, if there's a COVID-19. Si hay un COVID-19. Mm, eh, será, if there is someone with COVID-19. Si hay alguien con COVID-19, con COVID-19. No, pero si lo que quiero decir, si hay un rebrote. Oh. ¿Cómo se traduce la palabra rebrote? Rebrote, yeah. I forgot. Hold on. Okay. And I was listening to that word today. A new day, a new Regrowth. World. Re regrowth. If there's a regrowth. Re ¿Y se escribe? I know, oh. I got it. Hold on. Let me write it for you here. Como de crecer. Regrowth. Regrowth. Uh, yeah. Uh, regrowth. Entonces regrowth. sería, if there, if there is re, regrowth. A, a regrowth. 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 If there's a regrowth of COVID-19. COVID-19 para Rebecca. Okay. Mm, I will stay at home. And I will stay home. I will stay home. And I will use a mask. Every time. And I'll use a mask all the time. Sounds better. All the time. Mm -hmm. um, antes de un nombre propio, home, trátenlo como nombre propio. Okay, I'm going to the home of my friend. No, I'm going to my friend's home. Uh, I like your home. Mm. Si sí se puede. I like your home. Porque es tu hogar. Ese es el punto. Estoy diciendo tu hogar, no tu casa. I like your house. Got it? Got it. Okay. Okay. Good. Let's move on. Okay, tell me. I have a question. Mm -hmm. uh, I can say. Can I say? If, if you help me, everything would be easy. If you help me, everything will be, everything could be, everything might be. Yes, you can. Está bien así. Everything would, would be easy. Will be oh, easier. Will be easier. Sí, comparativo. Todo será mejor. Todo será fácil. Everything will be easy. Todo será fácil. Everything will be easier. Todo será más fácil. Could be answer. Si lo hago con will be easy, ahí sí sería sin el. Er, sin el término er. everything will be everything will be easier everything will be easy ambos casos se pueden Juan uh, thanks thanks both uh, mm -hmm. ok go on your notebooks
Ay. Bien, nos estoy retando con ciertas cosas. Película, sorry. Okay, it's just five. Si no estudias, no lo lograrás. Uy, no lo logras. No lo lograrás. Si lo piensas dos veces, será fácil vencerlos. Si tú me miras, si no es. Sí, verdad. Nadie sabrá si tú no lo dices. Si me, se va la luz, no podremos ver la película. Ok. Let me know whenever you're ready. Let's see. There's a song from Sting that I love. If I ever lose my faith in you. If I ever lose my faith in you. The police, Sting. The police. Amazing. The police is, uh, take a breath. No. Every breath you take. Ah, okay. Every breath you take, every move you make, I'll be watching you. No tiene condicionante esa. Okay. You don't study. So. Does anybody have does anybody have problems to sleep? Have any issues to sleep? No. I like to I like to listen to soft music when I go to bed. What kind of soft music? Uh, for example, if ah, uh, what's his name? Hold on. I forgot his name, but the word. The name of the... the name of the song is "If." If. Is it bread? No. It's not no. bread. If. <clears throat> George. His, his name is George Fogel. Fogel. Yeah, George Fogel. Yes. Uh, listen to that song as a homework if George Fogel I think that's the name of the singer okay ready 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 what's number one If you don't study, you won't reach it, you won't get it, or I don't know. I write it. You won't accomplish? Can I? You can, want to accomplish? Hmm. Yeah, go ahead. If you don't study, you wouldn't get it. 
you wouldn't get it. Okay, so let's go one by one. If you don't study, you now what model if you say wouldn't you wouldn't get it you wouldn't make it okay estaría diciendo no lo lograrías eh, y eso quería mm. recordarles would afecta el verbo directamente y lo convierte y le agrega la partícula r y a al final ría probabilidad you wouldn't mm. make it si sí se puede pero Ojo, eh, you don't get it. You don't sería presente simple. If you don't study, y recuerdo, la condicionante es la que ven presente simple. If you don't study, esa es la condicionante. Ok, so, ¿cuál sería? No lo lograrás. ¿Cuál es el modal que agrega esa partícula? Will, will right? Will. You won't. Will. You won't make it. Este ejercicio de traducir es buenísimo porque te ayuda. Um, okay, there's a difference between translate and inter, interpreting, interpreting. Interpretar es de persona a persona, traducir lo que se está diciendo según tu interpretación del lenguaje. But translating, traducir, es textual. Okay, importante. So, next, si lo piensas dos veces será fácil vencerlos. If you think twice, mm -hmm. it will easy. It'll be easy, uh huh. Te faltó el verbo to be. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. It will be easy. Uh, <laughs> How do you say vencer? Defeat. I, I don't know yes, that. defeat. Uh, defeat who? And, hey. and beat them. To defeat them. No, I say beat, beat them. To beat them. Yeah, mm -hmm. you could use beat as well. It'll be easy it's, to beat them. Okay. Beat or defeat? Defeat. Defeat. Beat. To defeat them. Maybe in, in case try. maybe it's yeah. sport. Yeah, okay. in a sport, it's, could be. Okay, si tú me miras enseñar a decir te quiero sin hablar. If you look at me. If you look at me. I. I show you. I show you. Hmm? I show you. <laughs> I'll show you. I'll show you to say. Siempre hay una confusión con esto. No se dice I want you, se dice I love you. I will show you to say I love you. Ajá, sin hablar. Without talk. Without talking. Without talking. Okay. Nadie sabrá si tú no lo dices. Come on, guys. Nobody knows if you don't say it. Nobody knows. Nobody will know. <laughs> there you go. Nobody will know. Uh huh. If you don't say it. If you don't say it. Okay. What about if you don't tell? Yeah, if you don't tell, if you, you don't, don't say tell. it. If you don't tell, if you don't say it. Both ways. Excellent. So, aquí tenés el ejemplo. Puedes jugar con esto. Oh, pero sí cometí un error. Decíamos que cuando la condicionante va después, no va a una coma, ok. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Si se va la luz, no podremos ver la película. If... Go down in the city uh, and the sun shines on the best. Uh-huh. Kike. Uh, 
Let me see. If go out the light, if go out the light, <laughs> if go out the lights, how do you say si se va la luz? Power goes out. If power goes out, when the lights go down. <laughs> if the light has gone. If the light has gone, si la luz se ha ido. Presente perfecto. This is present simple. If the light is out. The light, if the light has Lights out. If the lights go down. If lights go down, si se va la luz. If lights go off. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, if light goes off, lights go off, lights go down, uh-huh. Future. <sighs> yeah. I won. Why I? We won. Uh, uh, we, 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 we won. We won. Aquí está el reto. ¿Cómo usas el futuro? ¿Cómo usas poder en el futuro? Want. Usaré poder mañana. <laughs> Pensa, ¿cómo usas Ken en el futuro? Rebe, oíme, Rebe, Rebecca. Excellent, thank you. You heard? We want. Be able. Este es un gracias, Rebeca. Muchas gracias. Sabía que te la podías. Be able es el auxiliar o el modal sustituto de can. Porque no puedes decir we want can. Right? You have to say we want be able mm -hmm, to watch the movie. Okay. Y seguís con la misma estructura. Siento que um, aún no aterrizas esto. A ver, primera condicionante. La condicionante está en presente simple. If lights go off, if lights go down. Okay. Presente simple. ¿Cómo es el presente simple? Sujeto, verbo, complemento. Okay. Sujeto, futuro o modal. Si lo querés, futuro, eh, perdón, sujeto, futuro en este caso en negativa, verbo, ok, en este caso, verbo, complemento. Ok, so, revisen esto, por eso les daba la estructura al principio, para que no se perdieran en esto. La condicionante simplemente está ahí, if, ok, no estudias, sujeto, negativa, Verbo, if you don't study. ¿Cuál será el resultado? Sujeto, futuro en negativo, verbo, complemento. Ok. Good. Practice. Practice. Please, practice. Para que mañana tengamos una mejor clase. Les decía, les recomiendo escuchar esa, esa canción. Eh, no me acuerdo cómo se llamaba el, el cantante. La canción se llama If. Aquí está. Si es de bread. Bread. Sorry. Bread. Y sí. Si, bread. bread. Ok. Para que se vayan a dormir ahora, pónganle atención a esa canción. ¿De quién? ¿Cómo ¿De se llama la canción? Ahí está. If. 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 El grupo es Bread. Ellos son los que cantan The Guitar Man. The Guitar Man. Uh -huh. Summer Breeze. Summer Breeze. That's right. Ok, la música es un gran tesoro, chicos, y ahí pueden encontrar muchísimo vocabulario, entonación, pronunciación también. Ok, I'll see you tomorrow, 9 p.m. Thank you for being with me tonight. Take care. Good night. Bye. 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 Bye.